Hi guys, welcome down to Quest Golf Academy. Here myself, Rick Shields. I'm joined by James Goddard Hello. and also Rob Potter. Hello. And this is a bit of a Monday Night Golf show related to the Ryder Cup. Potentially. Yeah, it has to be. The best. The best we've ever, ever. witnessed. In our lifetime. Maybe not in Rob's lifetime, but in our lifetime. And we got a walking stick. <laughs> the best possibly ever. So this was, it's only just happened. It's, this is the Monday straight after the Ryder Cup at Hazel Team, where the USA took a massive advantage and won 17-11. And it had so many talking points. Mm. It's untrue. I think we've got to start first with... Uh... Garcia Mickelson, haven't we? Garcia Mickelson. Oh my goodness. I mean, was that was that real? That was was it 58 they technically both shot? It was like yeah. it was like they were playing on a video game. Yeah, yeah. It was unreal. I've mm. never seen so many hole uh, putts be hold in that match. What worries me is where did Mickelson find a game from? Where he did... was he wasn't even in the same state the first two days off the tee and then he found a game. Yeah. Well that is Mickelson though, isn't it? He yeah. can be very hit and miss. He's streaky than bacon. He's streakier than bacon. Well put, Rob Potter. Um, but then Garcia. Garcia, where has he found that, that stroke from? If he could put that in a major. Masters all day long for him. Yeah. All day long. So that was that was one of the big talking points. Those two were played incredible. And they halved the match. And I think that was a very fitting half. Definitely, yeah. Well, Definitely. it wasn't for my betting slip because Garcia lost me 700 quid. Okay, Rob's the only person that didn't enjoy oh, that man. match. <laughs> Did that, you have money on Garcia? I had, I had money on six games uh, for the day, and the only one that let me down was Garcia. I had Garcia down to win, and yeah. Had... So it wasn't Garcia that let you down, it was Mickelson that interrupted yeah. that. Garcia couldn't have done anything more. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Still, regardless. He couldn't have done anything more. It's Mickelson, he was everywhere. He sprays it everywhere. And then no, Garcia, not, yesterday. not yesterday. Not yesterday, he didn't. No, not yesterday, he didn't. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking. He was a, he was a shoe in to him, was Garcia. So there was, there was an interesting conversation just before we started this video, and where me and James were saying, this is the best Ryder Cup ever. It has to be. It has to be. But we had, we had one person on the panel that didn't agree with that. No, no, definitely not. And is this because you lost money or because you didn't No, 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 no. Brookline. So, was by far the best ever Ryder Cup. Really? Yeah, that was the best mm. ever in terms of two teams having to come together and then how they battled back. Europe really wasn't it. They was in it, but there wasn't as much in it after that first day. And they never really recovered. And to me, Clark didn't. He was overprotective of his rookies and he should have used them more on that second day. And instead, he dropped quite a few of them. And the inf and the you know, the ones that aren't in form, they were classed as the senior statements, Westwood and Keimer did nothing for us. Absolutely nothing. Two of the, it turned out to be two of the worst picks, we, captain's picks we've ever possibly had. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think it's very risky, Rob. You've got to, let, let's say he did put the rookies in. Hmm. Would they have done anything more if we put Fitzpatrick in, if we put Andy Sullivan it's in? A, it's, it's a hindsight it's a big I, yeah. I think it's, it's a, a big I think it's a bigger risk. He played it. He had to. He had him. He, it's the only way he could have played. He it played it. What? You, I couldn't even classify it as safe. They. You look at those two players. They have got track record in Ryder Cups. They have won many, many matches. Yeah. You look at Martin Keimer when he held that put at Medina to win the Ryder Cup. He is a solid player. I think Medina was one of the best Ryder Cups for me. I yeah. love that Ryder Cup. No, 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 not Brookline yeah. Medina. Uh, is that what you meant? Medina was four years ago. Four. Yeah, that's all. Right. Sorry, Medina was amazing. Yeah, right. yeah. That was pretty yeah. good. That was on par with Hazel team. Glen Eagles, we dominated. We, we, the yeah. America never turned up. Uh, this time, America got off to an unbelievable start. They did. Yeah. Four the nil in, sessions, in the yeah. Friday AM. Four nil, and that really was like, whoa, hold on. Yeah, it set the tone, didn't it? it set the tone for it. We but, need to yeah. do something special, and yeah. I don't ever think we. Well, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't, we didn't catch um, up. We, we, we didn't. We didn't bring it back. Standout player. Who's your standout player? What for the right? What for Europe? The whole, the whole anyone? Lot? Patrick Reid. And Cabrera Bello, but Reedy, definitely. What do you think for yourself? It's, Mikkel, it's got to be Mickelson, isn't it? Standout player for the whole of it. I think we had a lot. I think, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a vote up here in the corner. I think you've got to put in the mix Patrick Reed, 100%. Definitely. Yeah. He was phenomenal. You've got to put in Thomas Peters. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 we had yeah. I mean, a rookie. In fact, in fact, he has to be then, doesn't he, when you put it in perspective. He yeah. is phenomenal. I mean, Patrick Reed, granted, it's only his second Ryder Cup. 
But and he massively carried God, he must have a bad back after yeah, carrying Jordan carry Speed for every single oh. every single match. <laughs> the Patrick Reed, Thomas Peters, <sighs> um Cabrera Bello. Yeah. Yeah. Nicholson ish. But only for that one game. Ish. Mm. Only for that one game. Um, he only got half point. Who so. else was pretty awesome. got, The reason why I said Mickelson is purely on the entertainment factor yes. from last night. He just that when yeah. I think when I think of this Ryder Cup, that match just I know it's so fresh in the memory, but for me But you still look at it look at how um the opening match, the McElroy and the Reed match. You know, yeah, for, yeah. for 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 a game for that and Reedy coming through as much as I'm not a big Reed fan but I actually admire his confidence mm. um, you, and, you know what as, and, I think he's he's changed a lot of opinions this week yeah without a doubt I without think people are, uh, would almost slightly warm to him mm. now say that three years ago yeah but you can say that after the Cadillac Championship that he won when he went as far as I'm concerned in when I'm on the like Poulter I am the top three players in the world you know, and that was after he won the Cadillac Championship, the Ryder Cup year. Yeah. You know, and, and that that started his progression of arrogant, stroke cockiness. Yeah. But he's actually started to solidify it now. And he's matured, hasn't he? But yeah. as Butch said last night, if he could bring that putting game that he had in that turn in, in, in the Ryder Cup, because he's put it out of the world, yeah. Yeah. out of this world, um, he would majors every single year without fail. Who do you think? So we think him Thomas Peters, Thomas top Peters. European. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So top European Thomas Peters, without question. Cabrera Bello, both rookies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that granted that backs up your argument to say well potentially the rookie should have been put in a bit more. Matt Fitzpatrick, I love him. He looked a bit lost. And granted, he only had one and a half games. Mm -hmm. He kind of looked a bit lost. Yeah. Um, Andy Sullivan, he had a great. Um, well, he lost the match with Rory McIlroy, but he. he represented himself pretty well mm. he played well he lost last night the player that really did not shine or didn't turn up Danny Willett yeah yeah surprise actually he so, really didn't turn up at all now a lot of the commentators were talking about the comments that his brother had made yeah. in the build up and how much of an effect that had on him mm. what's your thoughts about that well if you look at it let's just fast forward a bit with Willett he came out with the comments that he made in his press conference uh, last night, which were been to the a lot of the public has been quite funny. What was that? Uh, how he said, "How do you think the Ryder Cup was for you?" And he said an ablative okay. in the interview. Mm. He came out and said that. So there's a bit of comedy based if you're you the way you want to be. My warped sense of humour is good, but he's also come out the press statement and said, "Actually, my brother was right in what he said." So he's actually defended what his brother said based on how the crowds reacted. Now, mm -hmm. that, if anything, if you take away what he said in the press conference, where he swore in the press conference, and some people on Twitter, I looked on uh, social media today, including some pros that have mentioned comments as well, saying that it wasn't upkeeping in, uh, you know, with the right things to say, it wasn't gentlemanly act that he said, mm -hmm. or gentlemanly thing he said. Uh, his attitude was poor with that, fair enough. But when you look back and he's then actually said what he's then agreed with in terms of um, what his brother's, you know, come out in the press and said how much is that going to damage him more than just swearing all right some of some of the fans weren't the best and i've even put a, a tweet up about how the fans have reacted as well controversially and i've had a bit of a slap off some different people but you know what, I mean? what, what what is new there rob uh, you know, um but, i think i think the thing is he's always going to protect his brother without question it would be silly blood is blood is much thicker than water as they say mm. and he's got to look at protecting his brother his brother might go oh maybe i shouldn't have said that but maybe he doesn't really care you've got to understand his brother's only really become in the spotlight because of all of his controversial comments around when he when his brother was winning the masters mm. so he's known for his his he's outspoken isn't he yeah his, his, his so. cutting edge He's not going to come out and play it safe. He does stand by his words, and I think deep down, maybe a lot of people do agree with him. Yeah. Is it the right thing to air before the Ryder Cup? I'm not sure. No. Maybe it should have been done afterwards. No. Maybe it should have been in after the heat of the moment. To be done beforehand, straight away, he's digging a real deep hole to his brother to yeah. dig Definitely. himself out of. And I, I think that's too hard for him to do. Yeah. 
I, I don't believe that his comments are massively off the mark. There's there's truth in there. He's just mistimed it. He shouldn't yeah. have done it when he did it. No, I think no. Danny's only agreed based on some of the comments that got flung out, especially the one, particularly one to McElroy uh, that we got shouted out on the on the second day. Yeah. And I think that's what's actually caused Danny to come out and say what he said there. Not so much in defence for his brother, but making an accurate point and going, well, maybe. Maybe it's justified, yeah. yeah okay, maybe so it was a bit justified, but anyway. I've been to... Two Ryder Cups, okay. okay. Celtic Matter. I've been to one Ryder Cup, Celtic Matter. Did you go Celtic Matter? No. What? In your home country? I didn't know. I went to Celtic Matter. And I'm not saying, it's, it's such a different atmosphere to any other tournament you'd ever be into. I, to some degree, understand how fans get a little bit leery. I understand after a few drinks how they can maybe say the wrong thing. Now, we've got to understand 99% of the fam fans would have been perfect. Yeah, definitely. A very tiny percentage of a fan. And the thing is with golf, that percentage of a fan gets heard. Because mm. before a shot gets played, everyone's silent. Mm. So that one idiot shouts, everybody hears him. You do that at a football match or a soccer match or what, nobody hears that idiot. No. So I think in golf they get heard a lot more now there was chants around the proper chants crowds of people chanting at McElroy about his ex-girlfriend okay that's different that was a crowd of people but a crowd of people is two people three people yeah mm. they might have just been very very vocal so it's hard to really justify unless you were there unless you heard it what i did like about it i thought the players showed a lot of respect when other yeah crowds yeah Bad mouthed them. Yeah. But McElroy and Reed yesterday, you know, McElroy did the whole shh and I can't hear you kind of stuff. And then him and uh, Reed then yeah, walked yeah. off the green, shook hands off the green, pat the back, walked off as best mates. He mimicked what Reed did. The crowd weren't impressed with it, but Reed's like, that's awesome. So that was that was done actually in the good spirit. It was in, good jest, it was in a good, yeah. good jest and good spirit, uh, without a shadow doubt. But you look at the, the histrionics in terms of how cra crowd abuse towards players have gone. All right, I'll take it back now before you guys were actually born. 1986, US Open. We were actually born in 1986. Even, even worse, right? right? So, 1986. <laughs> we just, remember it well. I've been beasted <laughs> we were, here, guys. We were there. You was there. As long as it was after June, we were there. <laughs> it was June, because it was, it was the US Open. So he's just about born. US Open, Greg Norman. I was Norman, James Walsh. Greg Norman, about. Greg Norman, final round. He got abused off the crowd and ended up having a standout argument with a member of the crowd at the US Open, which... A lot of the play, a lot of the media have said that that cost him the US Open because his head wasn't straight after that yeah. for the rest of that round. So the histrionics has been there for a long, long time. Again, it can sound snobbery coming from us being the Brits, the Europeans, but you don't get that level of abuse at a European tour event. You don't get that level of abuse at, a, at, a, at an Open Championship as a general rule. If it does, then the microphones must be turned off and nobody's ever picking it up. I heard abuse when I was at the Ryder Cup right. from Europeans. It's just not maybe quite as harsh. I'm just looking at week on week out with the ridiculous shit. Oh no, not no, no, no. And yeah, all that, that kind of trick. I, I think that, uh, that upset a lot of viewers, didn't it? It's just ridiculous. Did you see much of that, James, when the people were just shouting out? Yeah, I heard, of course, I heard, I heard it. But again, I think it's more, it's a minority, isn't it? Because, mm. as Rick was saying, because a golf event ever is quiet. Yeah. They have been heard. I think it's but just they get tanked up, as you said. They get the yeah. alcohol down, and then it all goes peak tongue. So, so that was the crowds. I know you're always going to get that Ryder Cups, and I think it's only going to get worse. I yeah. do, honestly. I think it's going to get worse. You fuel, you fuel a bunch of people out in the sun with booze. You're going to get larry people. Well, there's any more. I think the spectators next for France is what they're looking at sixty-five thousand. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, it's, it's, it's a stadium so course. It's TPC course, isn't looking it? At, yeah, so. Crowd capacity again is, is going to be, be bigger. Well, I'm going, well, and I'm going to make sure I'm on <laughs> no alcohol. You guys, if you see on the news, breaking news, <laughs> golf pro YouTuber creating chaos, uh, ca seen, chaos on the. <laughs> I've seen your drunk periscopes. They're bad enough. Uh, that's just taxi. No, that, that's all of that. Do you realise that? <laughs> so, understand that player is Brooke Kepka. Yeah. Kepka. Kepka. That's what I said. <laughs> European tour player generally. Qualify for the for the US team, phenomenal. Yeah, mm. three points out of four. He got three points out of four. Mm. Really, kind of overshadowed by Patrick Reed and yeah. and um, I'm trying to think, who else did really really well for the US. It actually made it made it look like John Speed did really well. We kind of Dustin, really. I'm, I'm obviously 
I don't think Dustin got loads of points, let me just see. What about Sneds? Dustin played four, got two points. Uh, Snedica, I don't know how much he played Snedica. Let's have a he didn't one. play much, but... Snedica got um, three for three. Three for three. Nice. Steady. Very good. That's Very good. Boxing, isn't it? Oh, he's amazing. Um, what do you think this is going to do for the Ryder Cup? Do you think this was a good thing? One hundred percent. I think for the states, especially, it's got interest back into it because as America is in a long way, in a long things, if if things start going a bit, yeah, the states lose interest in it. I think this has actually picked it back up in a big, big way. They've needed that. I mean, after what it, since ninety five. Um, They've only won now three since 1995. Almost that, it's been European dominated since 95. I was almost tempted it was going to go Europe versus America and Australia. I thought they were going to bring in Jason Day and Adam Scott for a while, but yeah. no. I think yeah, it's done, I think it's done right. Cut the world of good. I love the fact of how social it all is now on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, on Snapchat, on all of those platforms. You are, cannot miss. The action. No. Most annoying thing in the world, just let you know this. Let us know if you if you experience this as well. On your phone or your tablet, when you've got Sky Go on there, and you've got the Ryder Cup app. Did you any, anyone yeah, experience yeah, this? No, I didn't get the Ryder Cup. Did you get the Ryder Cup and watch Sky Go? I didn't know. Worst yeah. thing in the world. Because you're watching Sky Go. Right. So it's delayed. There's a delay there. There's a delay. Yeah. Oh. You're watching Sky Go. And you're thinking, oh my God, is he going to hold it? Next year you get an update. You get an update. On your phone. Oh, whole, whole halved. <laughs> Oh, great. He's going to hold this, you know. It was ridiculous. That was the only thing. So I had to actually turn up notifications on. Guys, let us know in the comments below who was your standout player. Was it? Well, it could be anyone. You, you tell us down below who was your standout player. Who do you, how do you think this is going to shape the Ryder Cup moving into the future? How do you think it's going to cope now in 2018 in France? Do you think it's... Do you know what I'm looking forward to with France? Sorry. Sorry? It's Bubba. Bubba played the French Open two years ago and walked off the course and quit because he found that the French crowds were unruly and didn't know respect. Is, so is that's Bubba, gonna be, be honest, is Bubba gonna be playing? Re, well, oh, yeah. that's gonna be really, really interesting. If Bubba picks his game up and plays, how's he gonna cope over there? I don't know if this has been out outed yet. Is there any any talks about the captains for 2018 yet? Not as of yet, no, but no, I put my name in the hat. On Twitter today, I put my name in the hat for Dobby for captain. And I've tried to get it trending. Try and trend it, people. No, don't. Captain Dobby. Don't. don't I'm up do for it. I've put my name in the app. I don't see it. If not, I'll happily be a runner for whoever's there. I'll put it on. But let's get trending, guys. Guys, if you do Captain that, Dobby. If you, if you retweet that and share it, just, just click that on the subscribe button right now because I think that would just be the worst thing in the world. Um, <laughs> please don't do that, by the way. Um, right, I'll tell you what then. Predictions. Who do you think is going to be the captain? I've got a name in my head who I think is going to be the captain. Thomas Bjorn. Okay, who's your name? Have you thought about it? I've not really thought about it, no. I'm going to go Jimenez. Ooh. I think it might be Jimenez. Good show. You said Thomas Bourne, but he's been, has been the vice captain. Jimenez has been a vice captain. Yeah, a couple of times. Um, who's your who's your pick? What about Woozy? No, he's done it. He's been. Of course, he has. Yeah, been no, he's done it. Okay, and as about a bigger one, what's the odds on that we'll have uh, Jean Van der Velde as a deputy? About good, yeah. In France, mm. yeah, but captain. Yeah, captain. Well, I said Bjorn. So Bjorn, Jimenez. It's hard if you're not thought about it. I've thought about this a lot. I've not really fair. thought about it. I know. You'd have to leave it on with me. I couldn't really... Uh... Okay. Off the top of my head. Come on. Off the top of your head right now. Come on. Who do you think? Who's in the twilight of the career who's not going to make it? That's the th that's what you got to look for. So we know that him and her is not going to make it. I'm trying to think who else now. Other, other than <laughs> Let's be honest. Know. It could be Buddy Westwood. <laughs> Two years time. Be a valid point. <laughs> Talking about the end of the career. Well, sorry, God, that's yeah, a bit you, don't, you don't. You don't need to put, do you? So no. you're fine. Um, guys, who do you think? First off, who do you think is the best player? Who do you think is going to be captain for 2018? I think US captain. I want Freddie Couples, but he won't do it. He, he, he's already turned around. He'll do President's Cup, but he won't be Ryder Cup captain. He's already said that. But I want him to do it. I think he'd be brilliant. I think. After the Ryder Cup and him being vice captain, mm, Tiger. I was gonna, I was gonna say you Tiger. Reckon? I think the goat. You reckon they'll go with Tiger? I think the that. goat will do it. Ooh, Tiger. Ooh, that'd be you. That would be. Tiger lock, versus Jimenez. Lock up your wives in France, though. Jeez. Well, it was actually a picture on Instagram. Well, yeah, I know. With, with, uh, with Pauline the, Gretzky. Gretzky's, uh, Gretzky's girl. Look out, Dustin. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. We'll leave it there on that real massive controversial rumor. Um, 
Yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, please do subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out James on Twitter. He's already smashed through that 1,000 barrier. Let's try and get him to 2,000. He's going to be starting to create some content for YouTube soon. Uh, we were hoping to maybe even do a What's in the Bag, but unfortunately, James hasn't got his kit with him today. Nope. Have you got maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Okay, we'll get a What's in the Bag coming up soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for lots more content. Hopefully you all enjoyed the Ryder Cup. Sorry this was a massively long-winded episode. And we'll see you soon. See ya.